More art to tell you about because the gallery at Hawaii Theater is featuring the works of North Shore artist Kosta Kulunzic. Oh, that's a really good way of pronouncing it. Uh, <laughs> we found out all about the show and the showcase for the local art scene. There is a great opportunity to check out Hawaii Epiphany solo show at the Gallery by Hawaii Theater. And here on Living 808, we want to find out more with Cosmo Grossi, the gallery associate, and the featured artist, Costa Kulinjic. Thank you so much for joining us on Living 808. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Well, start off by telling me more about the Epiphany and the solo show, Cosmo. The show is a solo exhibition of Costa's work from his time here on Oahu, specifically the North Shore. And it opened on August 1st and will run from uh, to Saturday, September 5th. And during the week, you can make appointments via hawaiitheater.com between 10 and 5 p.m. And the gallery is going to be open every Saturday uh, from 12 to 6. And we wanted to do Costa's show back in April, but with the shutdown, that wasn't possible. But it turns out, given the beautiful saturation of Costa's colors, the joys of the beach, and uh, the really the Hawaii sunlight that he captures, it's the perfect exhibition to present after people have been quarantined and stuck inside. Costa, tell me about more of the inspiration behind the works that people can now enjoy. Yeah, the, the inspiration, it's simply Hawaii. Um, yeah, the, the beauty of this place, and, and I, will, I was focused on the people. In fact, you know, I paint people since like 20 years, and, and there is something different and unique here. Like, you know, you, a kind of grace or elegance that you only find in Hawaii. I don't know if it's because the, you guys are emerged into that beautiful uh, uh, nature, and, uh, but uh, I was, uh, the first time I came in Hawaii, I was amazed by, 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 by the people, and, uh, uh, and it totally changed my work. Cosmo, I want to ask you more about how this show fits into the overall move to bring arts to the downtown area. Well, the gallery, as an extension of the Hawaii Theater, is extremely committed to supporting the arts district, and we want to present exciting exhibitions that aren't your run-of-the-mill, and not necessarily things that you've seen in downtown art galleries before. And um, we really want to support local artists and also mix in an international flavor. And as Costa was just saying, as sort of a transplant to Hawaii, his work does exactly that. Well, let's talk about Hawaii. You love painting it. We were talking earlier, moved from Paris of all places, but how has Hawaii shaped and influenced your art? Because I also coming from Eastern Europe, a country where was like hit by war. I used to have like pretty dark uh, work and uh, it was a shock. It changed totally my way of, of thinking my art, of doing my art, and even uh, myself, you know, I, I become, I think, a more optimistic person through my art. It's great to feature a local artist like Costa. What else do you have um, on the horizon for the future? We've actually collaborated with a company, uh, Duplicate, to create a virtual tour of Costa's show that will be available soon at the Hawaii Theater's website. And so that's an avenue we might explore with upcoming shows. Um, but what I will say is we're really um, going to be focused on presenting work that's positive and possible to enjoy, whether from inside the gallery, uh, outside on the street, or online. That's fantastic. And speaking of online, Costa, how can people stay up to date on your works and follow you? Everything will be on Facebook and on Instagram, and I, and I invite people to follow me because I love to share my work. Thank you. Uh -huh. Well, we loved having a chance talking with both of you to tell all our viewers, and I, I can't uh, sign off without noting the artwork behind you in uh, Pac-Man. That's a likeness of yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, it, it's the real end of Manny Pacquiao and the, the, the fight between uh, Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. I, I was so upset about that fight because then I decided to make my revenge and if you can see there is a monster who will eat them after the, <laughs> after the fight like that to to um, to you know feed my frustration about this fight who was very disappointing <laughs> but I'm a huge fan of Manny Macchiaro. <laughs> Love it. Thank you both so much. We'll post Thank all you. the information. Good luck with the show and a same touch with you. Thank you so much. Thank you.
you know, wonderful getting a chance to talk with them about the different type of arts, and you can just see the level of character put into these and the grace, he says, of all the people, but uh, also fun to see the Manny Pacquiao, uh, Floyd Mayweather yeah. uh, redo, if you say, so to speak. You couldn't miss it. It was like, it's glaring right at you from the very beginning of the interview, but I like some of his, um, his uh, the lone pictures, mm -hmm. the one of the woman with the blonde hair, just really, really detailed and nice. Mm -hmm. And you can check that out over there, the solo show. So thanks to them for telling about it. We'll post it on KHON. Okay, we have a